Galnet News Update, 4th of March, 3308. High profits and the prospect of highly engineered power plants as rewards mean the final part of the Colonia Bridge Starport build-out looks likely to end early, possibly on Sunday. A Type 9 Heavy can make 20 million credits per delivery, with the profit margin dependent on the place of purchase. Some of the commodities are available from systems very close to Alcor, including Alioth, and supply is currently good, making this an easy way to build up a reserve of cash. But the real draw is the power plants on offer to the top 75% of participants. A single size 3A overcharged power plant is being made available to participants in the Colonia part of the initiative, while in Alcor, up to three different power plants, sizes 3A, 4A and 5A will be made available if the three tiers of the appeal are all completed. A brewer spokesman clarified that these power plants will be single engineered, but the overall performance will be better than anything available through normal engineering. There will unfortunately be no size 2A power plants of the sort widely used in Jumperconda Anaconda exploration builds. While the exact specification of the power plants has not been revealed, it seems likely they'll be worth acquiring. Delivering between two and 3,000 units of the required commodities is likely to be sufficient to qualify, but commanders are advised to pay close attention to their ranking. The Colonia initiative aims to install four services in the starport closest to Colonia. Pioneer Supplies, Outfitting, Shipyard and a Human Tech Broker. The Alcor appeal will outfit the other five stations with Outfitting, Shipyard and a Human Tech Broker. Those starports already have Pioneer Supplies, following a successful appeal in week two. There will be brewer decals and exploration decals as well, and the achievements of the top 10 commanders in each phase will be memorialised. But really, it's all about those power plants. The federal president has said he might not win the 3309 presidential election, even if he's allowed to stand. Hudson is seeking a change to the Constitution to allow him to stand for a third term. Explaining that allowing one person to retain their grip on power for more than two four-year terms in no way makes the Federation into a dictatorship, Hudson said that other Republican presidential candidates would be allowed to stand against him, as well as Liberal Party and Independent candidates. And any one of those other candidates could, in theory, win. Hudson also called for an end to the violent partisan clashes that have been taking place at federal political demonstrations. Hudson claimed that supporters of Shadow President Winters have been committing unprovoked violence upon peaceful, make-the-Federation-great-again supporters. <laughs> <laughs> 